Over these past few years, a voice inside of me has been calling me to live more in alignment with nature. I grew up as a city girl, and although the city can be wild in its own way, a deeper part of my body is yearning for a slower life, flow, intuitive living, spiritual connection with the earth, the water, and the wisdom of the trees, a feminine kind of wild. An awakening to the sensual pleasures of my body, and her long-lost lover, Mother Nature. Nature has a way of burning the skin that traps my soul. The water has a way of holding me tightly, yet I feel free and not constricted. In nature, I'm not afraid to become dismantled. I'm not afraid for parts of me to die, so that a more refined and divine version of myself can be reborn. The wild woman is a radical renaissance. If you feel deep in your heart that something in your life needs to change, but you don't know what it is, or maybe you know exactly what it is, but you feel resistant to the change, I invite you to spend time with the rivers, the deep forests. The mountains and the oceans, you will realize that nature always stitches you back. You can trust again. Hi, beautiful souls. Today, I want to share three things with you that have helped me connect to my wild woman energy, and why it is so important. Why I feel it is so important for all of us to connect to this part of ourselves. And I want to define the word wild woman first. When I say woman here, I really do mean the inner feminine. But I think that the word wild woman has kind of been used together because it sounds nice, like a wild woman. But really, it's about the wild feminine that we have within all of us, whether we are biologically male or female. But it does play out a little bit differently just because of the. Physiology of the biological male or the biological female body that will differentiate a little bit in terms of how you're connecting with this particular energy, and so my tips here may apply a little bit more to the biological female, but can be applied to both, whether you define yourself as male, female, both, or none. But most importantly, it is for all of you guys out there because it is about the inner feminine which we all have inside of ourselves. And next, I want to define the word itself, like wild woman. That there is a lot of misconception about this word because a lot of the times when we hear this word, we tend to think of native people that are living in tribes and not in the city, and they have to be out in nature. But what I've come to realize that it's not the environment that really matters when we're connecting with the wildness within, but it is about. The energy that we embody that is most important, and why is it important to connect with the inner wildness? I feel like the inner wild feminine within all of us has been repressed for several centuries now. Since I would say, like in my understanding or what I've understood from this energy, is since the times of the burning of the witches, which. A lot of people consider them to be embodying the dark feminine, which is the wild energy, and that has been suppressed for a period of time now. But I think that that part that exists within all of us is the key to our wholeness, and that is why I really feel strongly that it's so important to connect with this energy. And the first tip I have for connecting with your inner wild feminine is. There are many words to describe this one. I would say listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, or listen to your body, which is basically embodiment. And this is a part of us, a part of you that is wiser than your mind. It is wiser than your brain. It is the wisdom of your body, and the wisdom of your heart, which you know is linked to the body. And this energy is really about. Listening to the subtleties of your intuition that comes in a whiff like the wind, it's a knowing of the body that is beyond logical understanding. 
and allowing yourself to be guided by this intuitive knowingness of the body and of the heart is the first step to stepping into this wild feminine that we have within all of us. And then of course we have the masculine inside of us, which is the logical part. And that is the part that does dominate a lot of the way that we live in the current modern world. And bringing back the wildness, which is illogical, it is truly heart-led and intuition-led, is the key to balancing a lot of what we might be missing in our lives. Even if it means we have to stop people-pleasing, or go down a path that hasn't yet been carved, or go against societal norms. This is truly the key to our freedom and the key to wholeness. And the second tip that I have for connecting with your inner wild feminine energy is having the courage to slow down. Yes, I love this one. And I say courage here because it can be hard to slow down. Imagine living your day without looking at the time. Because time is a construct of society that gives us agendas every day. But what if you could live a few days of your week where you were truly listening to, to nature? When the sun rises, when the sun sets, when the sun is midday, the cycles of the moon, the cycles of your body, the seasons of nature, these are the true timers of, of life. This is the, the clock of nature that we sometimes forget to see. Like sometimes we might even forget to notice where does the sun rise and where does the sun set actually in the place that we are at. Slowing down does mean that we are more attuned to these types of natural cycles. And another beautiful thing about slowing down is that it allows you to be more in the present moment. And of course, by being more in the present moment, you are able to tune in and listen to number one, which is your heart, your intuition, and your body. So maybe we can try this for a little bit. I want you guys to just sit here with me. In presence. And just noticing what you see in front of you without changing anything in your environment. Just noticing, the art of noticing. What do you see below you, underneath the earth? And what do you see behind you, without turning around? What do you smell? What do you hear? If you could hear one kilometers, two, three, four kilometers from where you are, What do you hear? I can actually hear the ocean, but it's not obvious if I'm not actually listening. But when I am listening, in the distance, I can hear the ocean. And the third tip that I have on my list here is to connect with the spirits of place, the spirits of the land, the spirits of nature, and the spirits of your ancestors. This connection that we can make with something that is in this realm, but yet understanding its soul that is beyond the scientific perception of what you understand to be a tree, an animal, the earth. There's a spirit and a soul to all of it. Like the song in Pocahontas, when Mother Willow says, Child, look around you, listen. You can hear the spirits around you, let them guide you. And when you allow the spirits to guide you, allowing yourself to offer something back to these spirits that are guiding you, wherever you might be, maybe it's food or a song, a work of art, whatever it is that you have, you could offer back as a, a way of giving back in this relationship that we all naturally have to the spirits around us. 
this is a part of us that leads to wholeness and leads to feeling like we are always supported because we are. We are always supported. And the last and final tip that I have for connecting with your wild feminine energy is love. Living a life of love. Whether that is love for your soul tribe, your soul family, your partner, your friends, love for the earth, love just allowing your heart to be so open and allowing yourself to give without needing anything in return really brings a sense of wholeness but it's so important that when you're considering giving without anything in return that you are nourishing yourself first that you are loving yourself fully first I think that there is that part in all of us that just wants to give and trust that we are always rewarded for that even if it's not always so obvious even if it is in another life or even if it is from the universe or from nature and i think that to feel love every day and scientifically this is like the hormone serotonin or other hormones that pumps in our body and makes us feel in love is a state that we can always call upon on and that is really really helpful to to coming back to what we always have, the essence inside of us. The one thing that we all long for is love. The one thing that we all crave is love. And we can cultivate that from within. It is a state that we can call upon inside ourselves. And that is truly wild. So beautiful souls, those are just some of my trips. And I wanted to say that this video is a devotion to Gene Key 15, the wild woman energy. But a lot of other gene keys too that I feel is really wild, like the 57, the 61, you know, the mystic, they're all so wild. And I personally have gene key 15 in my Chiron, but it's in the design Chiron, which is the unconscious wound that I have within me. And my story here is that I was when I grew up there was a period of my childhood where I was separated from my parents and I was living with my grandparents and my grandparents sort of considered themselves to be sort of like elites in the society you know because of the position that they had at work my grandfather who worked for the government and in those times working for the government was government was considered very privileged and they actually taught me to fear nature they taught me to fear my wildness my grandmother would teach me that the ocean was scary that she would teach me not to to walk barefoot on the sand because it was dirty there was a lot that she would consider to be dirty and i imprinted that into myself for a large part of my childhood and then when i lived with my parents again my dad would sort of force me to be in nature he would force me to go camping and i remember this one sort of memory that was suppressed but I have been recalling it back is a moment when he takes me to the ocean and he actually pushes me into the water like pushes my head into the water and my mom would be like screaming like what are you doing so it kind of traumatized me in a sense and so I have this really like extreme um, connection extreme experience with the wildness within me but I have been learning to take that into moderation as I go through my spiritual journey and coming to a place of discernment about my connection to nature and the wild within me. And so that has come to this video today. All right, beautiful soul, sending you so much love, so much wildness, so much heart, and so much intuition and joy and freedom. Bye.